The countdown latch class assists us writing code in which one or more threads should wait till a predefined number of events performed by other threads are completed. Instantiating the countdown latch class, we should pass the predefined number. Each time an event occurs, the countdown method should be invoked on the countdown latch object we work with. The countdown method decrements the counter by 1. When the counter reaches 0, all waiting threads are released and can resume their work. A thread that should wait till the counter of a specific countdown latch object is zero should call the await method on that specific countdown latch object. A thread that calls this await method on a specific countdown latch object is paused and waits till the counter of that specific countdown latch object is zero. In this code sample, we instantiate the countdown latch class passing over the value 3 to be its counter. The countdown latch object we create is initialized with a counter in the value 3. Each time the countdown method is invoked on this specific countdown latch object, the counter is decremented by 1. When the counter reaches 0, all awaiting threads, those that invoke the await method on this specific countdown object, are released and can resume their work. Going over the code, we can see uh, threads created by instantiated the worker class and inside the run method we can find the call to the um, to, to on the um, uh, countdown latch object we work with in this code sample. Let's execute the code. Running the code, we can see the worker threads working, but we can also notice that they start working only after the countdown method is called three times, and that takes the counter value to zero. Only when that happens, those worker threads resume their work and print out to the screen whatever they print.